Congratulations, Patrick. And Liam, I'm glad you masses off the Schneider this week. <laughs> okay. uh, we played your dad's old team this week uh, for the conference championship. Some of my best. Very good win, the ball. I want to thank the Gridiron Club and, and the writers for a wonderful year. And uh, we played in the conference championship uh, for the second year in a row. And last year we weren't so fortunate. And uh, our kids remembered. And they came out to play. And um, we had a four point lead at halftime. It, it was a struggle. And Salve Regina is a, is a very well coached, uh, very good team. They had one loss coming in. They had been upset uh, a couple of weeks before. So we knew we had our hands full and we knew what, what it was all about. We were hosting for the first time ever. So there was a lot on the line for us <coughs> in the NCAA bid, which we had never been to in 40 years of the history of the state. <coughs> Once again, we leaned on our defense. Our defense has kind of carried us through this season. And I have my defensive coordinator here today, Jeff, Jeff Morin. I want to you know, uh, thank him. And, uh, tell them how much we, you know, our, our assistants aren't appreciated enough. And uh, one of our many defensive players, and I guess if you stay around long enough, uh, this happens. Uh, Alex Torre is our great <coughs> Helmet Award winner this year. I coached his dad, you know, so, so I'm pretty old. Most of people ask me how long I was going to keep coaching, and I, I check my pulse to see if I'm, <laughs> I'm not that old. But, uh, I, I coached his dad back in the, in the 70s, and he was, a, he, he was a better player than Alex, by the way. <laughs> uh, Alex had a, had a great day for us. He had a couple of fumble recoveries. He actually, he, he scooped and scored the last one to, to, seal, to seal the victory. Alex, he was good. First off, I'd like to thank the, uh, the Gridiron Club and the sports writers. This really does mean a lot. Um, definitely the best honor I've ever received. Uh, i also like to thank my teammates because without them, I wouldn't have been able to make those plays with them forcing those fumbles. And it's not often a defensive lineman gets a score, so I definitely uh, <laughs> seized the opportunity when I got it. Um, I'd also like to thank my parents and my coaches. Uh, without them, it wouldn't have happened. And, you know, I'm hoping we can keep this thing going. Um, and I'd also like to congratulate you, Pat. Uh, wish you guys the best of luck the rest of the way. Well, we're heading up to court with the, 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 red, the red Dragons. And uh, people say, Where, where's court? So we go up to Syracuse and take a lap. <laughs> but we're, we're leaving. Uh, Tonight, no, we're leaving Friday morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's some, some place we've, we've never been uh, in the NCAA tournament, and it's going to be an experience. And, and we're, we're going to be playing against Cortland, who's a perennial powerhouse in Division Three in the East. So it's going to be a great measure to stick where our program is, and our kids are going to experience something they've never experienced. And I'm so proud of what we've accomplished this year and over the last couple of years. I want to I want to thank Roger Crosley because the New England football conference. This was the last championship game that, that we'll have. And uh, Roger's been a, a long time commissioner and, and community relations guy. And uh, the, the only thing missing from that game on Saturday was Roger. He was working a volleyball game for the UC. Like he was sorely missed. And I want to thank you publicly for all you've done for the conference and, and, and for us. And all that I can tell you, we're going to be there on Saturday. And uh, hopefully we, we play the best we can. Whatever happens, happens.